again everybody and welcome back to Food It's Blitz and today we're gonna look at the T22 medium the Russian tier X medium tank but it's in crates oh my golly gosh it never comes out of crates this tank's always in frigging crates so is it worth it well a couple of things one if you want to buy crates guys that is completely up to you I am not gonna judge you and I am certainly not gonna say how you should spend your money However, crates, which means there's no guarantee you're going to get the freaking tank. It only has a 5% drop chance. Now there are four types of crates you can get. Starting with these at 10,000 gold, no guarantee of getting the tank, but you do get six containers. Or you can get two containers for 4,000 gold. Hmm, you work it out, six containers is much better, guys. Or alternatively, you can go to these, which is... 11 containers for 20,000 gold, or one container for 2,000 gold. However, the drop chance is still only 5%. There is absolutely no guarantee you will get this tank. However, the price isn't too bad. I mean, 20,000 gold for 11 containers, and the chance to get a very nice tier 10 medium tank is okay. So what about this tank? Well, here it is. This is what it looks like in Armour Inspector. It's a funky looking tank. It's got that really weird and quirky pike nose. And the turret is pretty rock solid. It's a nice addition to the Russian line. And it's sort of complemented by the Object 140 and T62. With some of the armour parameters of an IS-7. When you look at the armour itself though, it's a bit weird. I mean, the, the pike nose, frontally, you're not... Go, you, you know, half of it is uh, unpenetrable, and the other half is easily penetrable. So it's a tank you have to wriggle and jiggle a lot in. It's got shit gun depression, but then again, it's a Russian medium, and it has got a pretty thick turret. Plus, the I mean, I know they nerfed it recently, but the sides do have nice amount of space armor. You can get bounces in this thing. It's a nice little tank. This is it facing off against an E100, and as you can see there, that pike nose is really weird. You have to sort of wiggle it and jiggle it, but look at that turret. I mean, that turret is just rock solid, red hot tomato. With the gun depression, you can put it a hole down, and it's quite nice. Here it is against a grill, so you can see, and a Sheridan, so you can see, you know, it's a nice tank armor wise. I mean, if you look at the ammunition, pen values, well, you're going to have 228 to 252 on your APCR up to 315 with your heat, but the damage output is not great. I mean, it's akin to the 140 and the T62, with, a, with just under 400. I mean, I generally run this with calibrated shells, enhanced gun laying device, vertical stabilizer, defense system, blah, 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 but it's up to you how you not like to do it. I like to run calibrated shells just for that extra pen. DPM wise, not really the best. It's 3,500, which is about 100 lower than the Object 140T62A. But it's, it's quite nice. It's a nice little tank. And, you know, it's a good credit earner, funnily enough. And like all the other Russian mediums at this tier, it has absolutely pants gun depression of only 6 degrees. But, you know, if, you, if you're used to driving the Object 140 or T62A, it's exactly the same in real terms. So it's not, you know, it's not the end of the world. This is my friend Stubbo and Clan Lead rolling out in his T22 recently on my favorite map, not Dynasty's Pearl. And, you know, I like the T22. It's a nice tank. A lot of people say, well, it's a bit obsolete at the moment because we got the Sheridan and the T92 uh, rocket tanks, which will just, you know, devastate it. But is that really the case? Enough of that. I don't want to talk about missile tanks. I want to talk about the T-22. Now, when this tank first came out, everybody screamed it was OP. And, you know, it's not OP. It's just a really nice tank. If you drive it really well, then you yourself are OP, and that, by default, makes the tank OP. And it's got a lot going for it. It's got good mobility. It's got a nice gun. Okay, it does struggle a little bit sometimes with penetration. It's got relatively nice DPM for a tier 10. Good amount of credits that you can earn off this thing. And, you know, it's got a bouncy turret. Is it worth the gold? Well, 20,000 gold for a tier 10 tank? That's not bad, to be perfectly honest with you, if you buy the 11 crates. 
10,000 gold if you just buy the six crates. Well, if you buy the six crates, you know, you may look be lucky and get the tank. I don't think it's a bad price. I mean, if I didn't have the tank and I had 10,000 gold in my, sat in my garage, then you know what? I would actually consider doing it, despite the fact they're crates. But I would only limit it to that. I would either buy the 10,000 bundle or the 20,000 bundle. I wouldn't buy both. And I, I wouldn't spend all my gold in trying to get this tank. It's worth a look. If you don't have this tank in your garage and you can afford the 10,000 gold for that bundle or even more so you can afford the 20,000 gold for the bigger bundle, it's worth a look. Don't forget, okay, you may not get the tank. It's got a 5% drop chance. 5% is not great, guys. Uh, you know, it, it really isn't. But you will get in-game goods, obviously. It may not equal the amount that you're looking for. And obviously you don't want the in-game goods, you want the tank. But don't think that you're wasting your 10,000 gold or 20,000 gold, whichever you want to look at. If you get the tank, trust me, you'll be happy. It is a nice tank indeed. It's just unfortunate that Wargaming decided to only ever bring this tank out as a crate tank. But, like I said, the prices are dropping and you get a nice little tier 10 medium. So, I mean, I, I can't tell you to spend your cash. I can't tell you how to spend your cash. And I can't convince, you know, it would be wrong of me to do so. All I'm saying is if it was me and I had to spend money, I would do it because it's a nice tank. I like it. And, you know, you will have fun in it. Simple as that. Once you get used to its armour, and, you know, if you like those fast mediums, then you'd be silly not to consider this tank, to be honest with you. I mean, I remember when it first came out, I mean, it was ridiculous because you had to spend either lots of money to get your Christmas tree done, or, alternatively, the next time it came out, you had to spend real cash to get this thing. And that was, you know, not the best. So you can see here, Stumble has just done shy of uh, 5,000 damage, or 4,561, and he gets a first class because, you know, you can have fun in this tank. This is my friend, the Scarecrow 2018 of the clan J4F, rolling out in his T22 medium. Uh, by the way, all these games are recent, so it's, this is post-nerf, not pre-nerf. And the tank did get nerfed. I mean, it, it did have its spaced armor sort of reduced recently. Well, I say recently, but it did have it reduced. Because a lot of people were complaining. I mean, I didn't complain. I mean, the armor was the armor. I mean, it, it, it's not invincible as a tank. It, it's, it, you know, but the space armor did sort of help it out a lot on those sides. It, you were able to side scrape in it and all that sort of jazz. And it, it, it did make it pretty, pretty formidable, not invincible. As you can see, you know, I mean, the Scarecrow's, you know, having a good time. He's only done what? just over, you know, just shy of a thousand damage, but he's man. Look at the DPM on this thing. I mean, okay, he's dropped his adrenaline, but the DPM on this thing is great. I mean, the reload time is, is very nice indeed. But, you know, in real terms, are you getting anything that you don't already have in the tech tree with the Object 140 or the T62? Well, yes and no. I mean, it's got effectively the same gun. It's got effectively the same depression. It's got better mobility and it's got different armor profile. So you are getting something same, same, but different as they would say in Thailand. And it's ironic because a lot of people can play this tank a lot better than the Canon Object 140 or T62A when realistically they're, the, they're, they're all similar tanks. But I think it's a nice tank. I mean, that armor profile does make it a lot harder to deal with than an Object 140 or a T62A. You can frontline it a little bit at your peril, unlike a T62A and an Object 140. Although, you know, they've also got rock-solid bouncy turrets. And as you can see here with the Scarecrow, I mean, he's up close and personal with this IS-7. And the IS-7 is really struggling. Um, you know, he's done just over 3,000... Well, was that just over 3,000 damage. He's taken one kill. And look at his armour. I mean, he's hardly lost any hit points. And this is the thing about this tank. I mean, it can be formidable in the right hands. But then again, all tanks can be formidable in the right hands. I like this tank, personally. I think it's a lovely little tank. 
I think it's a beautiful medium. To, oh, look at that. Get you, missile tanky. <laughs> You're not going to shoot me with your missile. I mean, look at this. He's, he's able almost to circle of death. The T-92. I mean, it's just fantastic. I mean, I, I love it. I, I think it's a fantastic medium tank. Bouncy, bouncy. He's now bounced 700. He's done just shy of 5,000 damage now. He's now going to give that poor old uh, tier 9 T-54 a hard time. And he does. Goodbye. Two kills. 5,334 damage. I mean, this is what the tank can do. It's a beautiful tank. I would drop the tank round for it, despite the fact I hate crates. Because I might get this tank. But I would leave it at that, I'm telling you guys. I, I would not keep buying and buying and buying until I got the tank. If I didn't get it, I wouldn't be unhappy. If I got it, I would be over the moon. And a lot of people will get it in the first crate. A lot of people got it in like, didn't get it until crate number 20. Your call. Me, I mean, look at him circling the death this C-75. It's just fantastic. <laughs> you just got to love it. I like the tank. I think it's great. I think it's worth a look at the current store prices. You won't be disappointed if you get it. You'll be disappointed if you don't get it, of course. But it's worth a look. Anyway, I've been Fujit. That's been the T22 Medium currently in the stores on crates. I mean, look at the credits there. Fantastic. Big thanks to Stubbo and the Scarecrow for kindly allowing me to share their replays. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, please press subscribe. Lovely thing to do. And until the next time, stay safe out there, have fun on the battlefield, and happy tanking, because that's what it's all about, guys. Having fun and being happy.